In your recommendation, should UNS only be applied for MES systems or for all applications like ERP, PLM, APS? ERP continuing to be the system of record seems like a bottleneck in UNS adoption. ERP should never be the system of record for all data. Why? Because ERP doesn't have a mechanism to consume all events from all nodes in your what business. What do they mean by a system of record, though? That's what I don't understand. Like, history. In your language, it would be history. If I wanted to see the history of our data, where do I go to get that? The problem is, is that a historian doesn't store transactions. It stores event transactions. So you have many systems of record in, in, in your architecture. Like a... Um, in in but but a system well, of record, like you may have a piece of equipment that publishes to the uns but it has its own event log locally is that what you mean not, not, I, I, it's I, a system of record for that piece of equipment but you would never go to Cur I, I, would, I would say that's a that's not an elegant example but the thing is it's probably mostly true uh i i would say it's that's not an elegant example let here here's a better example yeah okay. here's a better example the the data that is that lives in the unified namespace and we'll use a broker as an example what that is is that is the ingress to your system of record now let's say my system of record is a thing where i have a system of record that that is only recording transactions well what is a transaction a tra a, tra a transaction is a coalescence of many data events into one transaction so let's say i'm taking a snapshot every 60 seconds and there are 10 columns 10 data points that are that make up my transactional record every 60 seconds i'm taking a snapshot of those 10 different data points from my broker and i am publishing them to a payload where my system of record for that transaction would consume the way that we do this in our business if you look at our intellic integration unified namespace if you look at our uns at intellic we have many transactional payloads. One of those transactional payloads is uh, all of the, the most recent time entries, the, all the time entries from yesterday. That's a transaction. So there is literally a payload that contains all the time entries in our time management system from every billable employee from yesterday. And But each in, in within the unified namespace, you have an engineer and then you have their entry. What we do is we coalesce all those entries into one payload, which is a transaction. And the system of record in that case is S3 on AWS. So that would be like if you're using a SQL bridge module transaction group. Something like that, yes. Yep. Uh, in Gartner's language, would Walker's explanation of UNS not translate to a digital twin showing a single source of truth for the current state. All right, in Gartner's language, yeah. would, would Walker's explanation of UNS not translate to a digital twin showing a single source no, of truth? No, because it's missing, because when you just say digital twin, you're missing all the key elements of what makes an element of UNS. You could plug a digital twin right on top. You would use an UNS to power your digital twin, but just saying digital twin alone isn't implying all of the other prerequisites that go into what is it. Here's the fundamental difference. I hate the term digital twin, by the way. Absolutely hate it. <laughs> um, and, and by the way, I, let me say the hate thing is tongue in cheek. All right. It, it's hyperbole designed to get an emotional response. But I'm willing to give credit where credit is due. This is a good document and people should use it. Okay. Uh, 